Okay, and we got the case open here. And if you remember, we did this up in Halloween just a, as a, a trial. And these cases actually work quite well for the standard computer power supplies that we use a lot. And just wanted to show you here, that is one of the uh, pixel boards. And it allows you to take your 12 volt power and combine it with your DMX feed and then go out to the pixel. And this particular power supply here is running power to the pixel that's on that tree there as well as our third tree here. Uh, so we got basically just one centralized power supply there. And let's close that guy up. And let's go ahead and put the lock back on it. Okay, yeah, I do keep all the cases locked just for safety's sake. This is the same six foot tree that we used last year. It's using the incandescent uh, 12 strings of green and 12 strings of red again uh, with one LE driving each of the 12 strings of color. And this particular case that you see here is just has that same uh, pixel driver board in it that you saw in the power supply. Just again, it's just that same little board that allows you to combine your 12 volt power and your DMX feed into the same cable, which you can see there in red, and then in turn runs up into the globe. Uh, this was new for this year. As you can see, we have 16 MR16s. We have four red, four blue, four green, and four whites. And this is our, again, it's just another computer power supply inside of the CG1500 case, along with the MR16 controller. And if you've seen the pictures in the previous post, the, the MR16 is also running the same wireless receiver that we use on the LEs as well as the SSR4s. This is the other six foot tree, again new for this year, using the same topper with two RGB pixels as the other two trees. This tree is a little bit different. We used 12 strings of red, I'm sorry, not 12, but 10 strings of red, 10 strings of blue, and 10 strings of white, just to give us our red, white, red, white, and blue tree for the year. And again, just driving it with the two LE controllers, just like the other two trees. And over here, same configuration as last year, we have our Tune 2 sign being lit up with a uh, single flood light, which is being driven off one of our extra channels off the LE controller that you see there. That's the uh, closest to the sign. Okay, take a quick swing around the front of the yard here. We added four more mini trees this year. These are the same as their incandescent counterparts. We have one LE controller which runs all the incandescent minis, and we have another LE which runs all the LED uh, mini trees. And the LEDs this year, once again, they're configured the same as our incandescents that you see here. We got a string of, uh, we have 200 yellow, 200 red, and 200 green. And on these, we are, these are the 50 count CDI LED strings. Uh, so we only have 150 green, red, and yellow LED versus the 200 on the incandescents. But let me tell you, if you've been dealing with these uh, CDI LED strings. These actually are more vibrant and light up uh, a lot more noticeable than even a 200 in the incandescence. Again, uh, I'll shoot some videos as soon as I can get it done, but the videos really don't give the LED strings um, the justice they deserve. And let's see, last controller for this year. 
again it's another led controller i'm sorry le controller again being run wireless which is running some more of the cdi red net light strings so we have a red a white and a blue sections of uh, net lights so it's red white blue red white and blue so this side hedge here makes up about six channels and that is it of the quick tour as you can see it's a, a lot of what we used last year with just a couple small changes for this year uh, we're already working on what we would like to accomplish next year just kind of getting some rough ideals down but um, all in all the wireless has performed flawlessly since we set it up no issues there uh, everything's running like a top and I'll chat at you later